Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Today we'll be taking a look at the Adidas Bermuda Silhouette, this time in the Wonder White colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time a welcome in today we'll be discussing a sneaker that currently has only released in Europe but we hope to maybe possibly see it in the US who knows today we'll be talking about the Adidas Bermuda silhouette which was so loved back in the 80s and uh, I'm so happy to see these back here in 2023 so we'll go through the overview of this wonder white colorway then we'll talk about size and fit followed by how I style this minimalistic color scheme. Then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right in it. So I have actually discussed other colorways in the Bermuda current, the Bermuda's current release. I'm not so sure if I think that this is the best colorway though. It could be because I feel like maybe out of the pink and blue colors that release, this may be the most wearable, the most neutral in tone, but the images really just didn't do this justice. I honestly thought that this was going to come in a completely different color when I saw images of it. So I thought that this would be on the bottom of the list, but it actually made its way to the top when I officially unboxed these and saw them in hand. So as far as the entire upper goes, this is a very neutral neutral, just a natural kind of light oak tone for the suede. Very high quality materials that they decided to go with on this Bermuda and I'm really glad they did because it just makes this such a very upscale looking sneaker. As far as the laces go, we do have just again some nice neutral tone laces which really blend perfectly with that natural suede tone and texture. And we've got this light peach tone for the Adidas's branding and logo. Let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling. the lateral and medial side go you'll notice again we just have more of that natural oak tone and textured suede for the underlays and then we've got peach tones for the adidas three stripes as well as on the back of the collar the interior is in just a nice natural tone in this light beige and the interior is in the light beige and light pink for the insole. As far as the bottom of the sneaker goes, it is completed with a gum bottom in that beautiful natural color scheme, giving it a very vintage effect. Let's take a look at those last and final details.
As far as size and fit goes with this one, I would say size half a size down. These do run a little bit on the larger side of things. Again, do have high arch narrow feet. So depending on whether or not you have flatter or wider feet, because this is a narrow silhouette, do take that into consideration as to what size range will work best for you. Now let's talk about how I style this really minimalistic and natural colorway. For the first look, definitely wanted to keep it simple with tone. So I decided to go with a white cropped tank and I wore a nice white button down collared long sleeve shirt with some jorts and a khaki tone. Definitely feel like khaki colorways are going to complement this so nicely. Oh yeah, I remember the night when you lost your mind. I was sitting in Matt's place, wasting all my time. You've come a long way since that night when you hit rock bottom, your skin exposed so bright. And then for the second look, I decided to wear some brown in the mix. Definitely feel like this is a color palette that you can really wear all year round. So for the brown color scheme, I decided to wear a bandeau top that had fringe at the bottom with a matching fringed brown skirt. Then for the last and final look, I decided to wear a cream halter with some nice just linen pants. I definitely feel like light cream tones really work well with all the tones that you see throughout this colorway. Yes. All right, so now let's talk about how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at 110 and they are currently going between 140 to 170. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you all next episode.